All right there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna put the cheapest exhaust I could find online on my 1989 Toyota pickup. Now for those of you guys that didn't watch the video, I recently threw this truck together out of two different trucks. This is a 1989 Toyota pickup that I've had since I was about 15, 16 years old. And I recently got a long wheelbase, four wheel drive donor truck, and I pulled the cab and everything off and swapped everything over, changed the wheelbase, and threw this truck together. This truck had been off the road for about nine years. Now I did that whole process in about a week, so there's definitely some things that need to be gone back over and fixed up, and one of those things is the exhaust. I patched this exhaust together and put it on the truck and the problem is, is it just kind of rotted out and it's fallen apart and uh, had to do something about that. I got to looking online and I found I could buy an entire catback system for about the cost of just buying the muffler from the auto parts store. So I went ahead and ordered it and it showed up today and we're going to go ahead and throw this on the truck. Now one thing to keep in mind here is I did intentionally order the wrong exhaust for this truck. This was originally a long wheelbase truck. I shortened it, it's now a short wheelbase truck. Everything fits the short wheelbase truck because all the measurements are the same. So I should have ordered a short wheelbase exhaust system. However, I'm not going to run a catalytic converter on this. I already cut it off before because it was rotted out and I just put a piece of pipe in its place. I know Greta is probably going to come strike me down here now, but I don't really care. So anyway, I ordered a long wheelbase exhaust. And the reason for that was basically just to give myself a little extra pipe in front of the muffler because I'm not going to be running a catalytic converter on this. Now, I welded my uh, piece of pipe in there where the catalytic converter was, and I'm going to cut that, and I'll cut this cap back somewhere, and we're going to weld it together. So this is not going to be a as factory installation. However, I should be able to tell relatively closely if this would probably fit as it should on a factory application. So now a couple quick things to note. There is a little bit of shipping damage on this. It's got a couple little dents in the muffler. Uh, stock size exhaust pipe uh, measures the same as the factory exhaust. And it all seems pretty decent. I do like that it came all together in one piece. It's not a clamped together five billion joint deal with a bunch of loose clamps that I always end up just welding them together anyway. So it's nice that it's all one piece. I do like that. And it appears to just be your standard aluminized piping. And the muffler appears that it might be stainless. I should check that with the magnet. It is fairly magnetic, so if it is a stainless, it's not a very high grade of stainless, but Anyway, uh, let's get this cut off and uh, hang this under here and go from there. Alright, so grinder, check, power cord, check, big dripping puddle of water, check, safety glasses, engaged. <laughs>
Water dripping. It's not pleasurable. You could almost probably use, I can't say this for sure, but you could probably almost use this long wheelbase one on a short wheelbase to delete the cat, but I really can't say for sure on that, but. I'm going to cut this off because this has a O2 bung on it that I don't need. So we're going to cut this off. We're going to just go ahead and cut it off right here. And then uh, weld this together. The tailpipe section didn't fit the first time I tried to put it on here. Uh, most likely shipping damage. I was able to get it out and uh, give it some calculated brute force. And it fits right on there now. So let's cut this off and get this put together. So battery's disconnected. I'm gonna use my Harbor Freight Titanium Unlimited 200 for this. I set it at uh, 140 and 17 volts. Just I might adjust that using C25 Argon. So I'm almost out of already again. And uh, sorry, I'm kind of rushing here. I'm want to try to finish this up here. Oh, in the next 15 minutes or so. So I can get out of here and uh, get this welded up. Go ahead and fire this thing up quick and see how it sounds. Keys. I need the keys. And my camera to stand up. I'm very happy with how that sounds. It's nice and quiet. I know some of you guys might not like that. Uh, fitment wasn't great. Could chalk that up to uh, just some shipping damage, but overall, if you're looking for a stock replacement exhaust, it's probably going to work for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a great day.